All right, so we're looking now at Mobian, which is the Debian based operating system for Pinephone. I actually have a uh, sniffer open at the moment. It's actually working well. We have TermShark, which is the NCurses version of Wireshark. It's based off Wireshark. So anyhow, that seems to be running pretty well. So we're going to close that out. Just wanted to show you some of the stuff you can do. You've got root access on the terminal, which is nice. Uh, now I'm in Firefox. We're looking at YouTube now. So I uh, just wanted to show you guys what Mobian looks like. I'm going to keep on documenting my own, you know, progress experience. I've actually got Tor set up as well. It's pretty cool to be able to upload your, update your phone using the apt command, apt update and apt upgrade. That's pretty sweet, actually. It's great having access to the shell command line. Uh, it also comes with chess. The camera is not working yet on Mobian. The phone calls are working, ingoing and outgoing. Text messages are working, ingoing and outgoing. So here's a 2FA authenticator. So I am opening that now to give you guys a look. So if you want to use this to add accounts, you can add accounts here. You can, uh, of course, you're not going to be able to scan the code without the camera working, but you can still play with that. And now I'm going to show you guys what Mobian looks like uh, for the software control. And as you can see, the scrolling is pretty decent. Um, so once in a while, the sensitivity, you'll have to tap twice. But uh, it's, re it's relatively on the similar lines with the, uh, the state of Manjaro. And I'm going to open up the software. So we might as well take a look at that. So here's the, the little software browser here. Uh, everything's organized, so as you can see, uh, you got BitTorrent client, you got Telegram, HexChat, the IRC client, you got Conversation, you got Wireshark, you got Aggregator, they even have OBS Studio. Now, I couldn't get that to work. Uh, there was some kind of GPU issue, but I'm sure things are going to be worked on. Uh, of course, there's games. Now, I wanted to show you guys how to set up tour real quick so what you would do is you open the terminal then sudo su then put in that temporary password one two three four that they give you if you have it burned on an sd card and after that apt update and then apt install tour after you've done that you can open firefox go to preferences top right corner i'm in preferences now go down to the bottom hit network settings and once you do that you can go here, and as you can see, it says no proxy. Instead, you're going to go to manual proxy, and we're going to select that. I can get it my finger to read. Tiny little button. Okay. Now, we're just going to select manual proxy configuration, and then, of course, we're going to use host 127.0.0.1 local host and SOX5 is going to be selected and then of course the port on the right here is going to be 9050 and since some of the windows are kind of funny at the moment uh, before they work the bugs out we're going to go and switch the view mode and that way we can get over to the right and you see I have 9050 as the port and then you're just going to scroll down and hit OK and after that, you will be connected to Tor as long as you have it started. As soon as I installed Tor, it actually was running under the Debian Tor user. So that was already running in the background, and all I had to do was add it into Preferences. Since there's no Tor browser at the moment for the Pinephone, at least in the official capacity of Tor browser. So that is Mobian. I just wanted to show you guys where I'm at with it. It's really nice. As I mentioned, ingoing, outgoing calls work incoming and outgoing text work also cellular data works and also of course wi-fi works so that's what i got today guys i hope you liked it and if you like the video please like it share and subscribe and i'll be back later with more on the pine phone